Welcome to the Crimson Tide Connection, your home for Crimson Tide Sports. And I'm joined by the head coach of the Alabama baseball team, Mitch Gaspar. Coach, thanks for joining us. Sure. Coach, uh, you've had an uh, exciting season so far. There have been some big plays going on, and I know you've been excited about some of the young guys that have stepped up and kind of filled in some roles. And you start SEC play this weekend, so you'll be looking more of that, of the same from some of those guys that step up this weekend if you take on Tennessee, won't you? No, that's exactly right, and that's, you know, that's one reason why we play such a challenging schedule. You know, mm -hmm. in the first 15 to 17 games, just so we are prepared when we hit SEC play, and uh, it'll be no different, you know, come, mm -hmm. come this weekend with the start of Tennessee and SEC play. I know, as you said, you, you pitched a lot of pitchers last weekend at Louisville, and then, of course, you had to have some people pitch this week against Memphis. Kind of what is your rotation looking like this weekend as you start SEC play? Well, we're, you know, we're evaluating that right now. Uh, we certainly like the way Charlie Sullivan and, and Jonathan Keller pitched at Louisville. And uh, well, we're trying to find the right mix of both starters and bullpen, which is going to mm -hmm. give us the best opportunity to win. So uh, we're going to name our starters later in the week and, and where they're going to be slotted for those games. Games, but uh, it'd be a similar type rotation, but there could be uh, a change or two before the weekend series. Coach, you played a pretty tough schedule so far last weekend playing at number five Louisville. Do you think that's kind of prepared you for the start of this SEC play? Yeah, no question. You know, I mean, that, that's why we do it. And, you know, we've had two road series, uh, which if, if you look at most teams in the SEC, most of them have not left home yet, you know, right. at this point. But I think for us, knowing that we have a young roster, uh, it was important to get them on the road, uh, to play in some of those tough mm -hmm. environments. And at this point, we're prepared. We're not where we're going to be. I think this this is going to be a team that's going to continue to get better as we move through the season. Mm -hmm. But at this point, uh, you know, we're better than we were a month ago. And the key now for us is to be better in a month than we are today. Well, Coach, what do you know about the Vols, and how do you feel like this team kind of matches up against them? Well, Tennessee's a really well-coached team with Dave Serrano. They've got, uh, you know, they've got a number one starter that's returning from their team, but they're they're also a, a very young team that replaced a lot of guys from last year. So, uh, and they've played a challenging schedule as well. So, I think it's going to be a really competitive series. Obviously, both teams want to get off to a good start, and I think it's important to have this first series at home. Uh, we need some good crowds come out. Right. And because uh, this this team for us, even though the schedule is not where we'd like it to be, uh, they have played their tails off, you know, mm -hmm. in the first 15 games, and they're going to continue to do that. And that's what's going to allow them to continue to get better as we move through this season. But coach, you have to be pretty excited about this team. So far as, as you said, they keep improving, but you've had a lot of young guys step up and contribute that are starting. Kind of, what are your thoughts on that? And you have to be pretty pleased with them heading into SEC play. Well, we are. I mean, the one thing that, that we've seen with a lot of our young guys is just their courage, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, even though uh, they haven't had a great amount of success in some areas, they continue to fight, they continue to work to get better. Mm -hmm. uh, our young pitchers have come in in some really tight situations and pitched extremely well. And I think with that, you've got to give a lot of credit to our older players that have helped those guys and continue right. to help them learn what it is to be a good team. And uh, it's a good mix. It's a team that has a good will about them. They, mm -hmm. want to, they want to be good, and they work that way, and they prepare the right way each day. Because this weekend you take on Tennessee on Friday night at 635, Saturday at 605, and Sunday at 105. At Saturday night at 605, that's kind of a different start for a Saturday game, isn't it? It is. You know, we, we decided to do that. We felt like that was going to give more people opportunities to get out to the ballpark. Obviously, mm -hmm. there's a lot going on on Saturdays from from all the youth ball in town, but also mm -hmm. conflicting schedules with other sports here on campus. And uh, we felt like moving it to 6.05 uh, gives more fans an opportunity to come spend Saturday night with us. Well, come on out this weekend to the Joe as Alabama hosts Tennessee for their first SEC action of the season. It's sure to be some exciting baseball, Coach. It will be. I mean, SEC play, it's the best conference in the country, and you're going to see great players run across, and, and uh, we're excited to get the SEC play uh, underway this weekend. We'd love to have you come out here to the Joe in Tuscaloosa, but if you can't make it, you can watch all those games live on Tide TV at RollTide.com. For Head Coach Mitch Gaspar, I'm Chris Fringland, and that's it for this edition of the Crimson Tide Connection. Thank <laughs> you.